welcome back. And handstands. Here we go. So, not to disappoint you, but we will not be doing handstands right off the bat. First, we're going to warm up our wrists. So, take your hands, put them on the ground, and let's just stretch forward and back. Forward and back. And as a reminder, I'll show you from the side, but you should be hollow, your toes should be on the ground, your arms should be right, right beside each other. None of this, okay? Fingers forward and shake them out, okay? So think of a handstand warm-up, especially an at-home handstand warm-up, as breaking down each and every tiny detail in the handstand and testing it before you put it all together for launch. So, uh, so now our hands work. That is good. And we've stretched. So that's good too. So now let's do a quick warm up just of putting weight onto our hands. So we'll get into a push up position like this. Okay. I'll show you from the side. Like that. Okay, and now we're just gonna rock forward and back and forward and back. When you rock forward, your toes are more pointed and back. Do that 10 times. Notice how my belly is not down like this or up in the air. This is a hollow body, and we're using our fingertips to push us back. Three, two, one. You can come down to your knees. Shake it off, shake it off. I know you guys love when I sing like that. People say I have a beautiful singing voice. And those are just my students, and that's because I asked them to say that. Anywho, moving on. Now we're going to get used to putting weight onto our hands, starting from a lunge position. So let's get into a lunge, a kneeled lunge, or a, a knee lunge, and put your arms up. Okay, you know what I'm going to say. Now this, right here, right by your ears, okay? And we're gonna lean forward onto our leg. Lean forward and back. Lean forward, and then when you're ready, I want you to stand up on your front leg and go into a T position, like this. So let me show you from the side. We're gonna go down to our knee. Stand up. Go into our T position, hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, back to a kneel. Great job. So that's a safe way to warm up the lunge going into the handstand. Now guys, don't move on from this step if you were falling during that process at all. So take a few minutes and practice a few of these because this is kind of the warm up into kicking up into the handstand. And you have to pass this portion. You have to when your parent or guardian has to say that you have passed it to move on to the next step. It's only for your own good. You'll get there. Okay. So parent or guardian, the test is can your gymnast do five lunge T back to lunge without losing their balance. So let me demonstrate for you. And you know, I'm gonna take my socks off because sometimes socks make it more slippery. Just depends on your surface. Okay. Now remember, go slow. Lunge. T, back to lunge. T, don't let them see your ears. Back to lunge. T, back to lunge. T, uh -oh. back to lunge. T, back to lunge. Okay, so the key, the thing that you're really looking for is the body control. So some things you might be seeing, if you're not having or not seeing body control, are this. Whoa. Okay, so that is common. One thing. Think. Focus. Think about
about step one, lunge. Step two, stand. Step three, straighten your body into a T. Step four, back to your knee. Now, as you can see, I wobbled. So it's natural to wobble. But what we're looking for is the ability to wobble and then recover. So if you're here and you're like, ooh, 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 the ability to adjust your foot and keep your back leg up still is really what we define as body control. So go ahead and practice those for a while. This will do nothing but make everything you do in the future safer. Okay, so good job practicing. Uh, now we're gonna do a quick handstand warm-up. Uh, the final step before our actual handstand. So first, we're gonna actually put our weight onto our hands with a Spider-Man handstand. So put your back up against the wall, slide down. Now you're gonna walk your feet out just a little bit. And you're gonna put your hands directly in front of your knees that are together, okay? And lean forward under your hands. And then you're gonna, once you can, you're gonna try to get one foot up onto the wall. And then you're gonna actually put your weight onto your hands. So first, just get into a tuck handstand like this. If you can hold this, move up to a straight leg handstand with your feet together, and you should be looking either at the wall or you can look at your hands for now, but just don't stick your head out. And everybody count to your age. Say I'm 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Walk your feet down. Okay, good job. You might feel like your head is a little bit warm. That's what happens when you stay upside down. You also might feel a little tingly. Shake it out. Shake it like a ball of right picture. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you have passed that step, which red teamers and intermediates, advanced, uh, certainly competitive team girls will be able to uh, complete that step, then you're ready to go ahead and start kicking up. So, you know what a lunge is, you know what a lever or a T, lunge, T, lever, T, lunge is, but we're going to do a quick review before we kick. Ready? I'll show you from the side. Lunge, two, three, four, T, two, three, four, lever, two, three, four, back to T, two, three, four, back foot down. Everybody do three. Lunge, T, left, T, lunge. Don't let me see your ears. Lunge, straighten your front leg. T, lever, T, lunge. Last time, lunge, T, lever, T, lunge. Phase one, complete. Houston, we are ready for a lift off, but a small lift off and an immediate arrival. Ready, moving to the lever, hop. Watch first, please watch first. Uh, you will be doing this facing your wall. So I'm showing you from the side so you can see first, so don't do it. Lunge, T, lever, hop, put your foot back down. So this might be different than what some of you have done in the past. You're gonna hold this lever position and then you're gonna kick your back leg, point your front toe, and come back. Do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, he is back. Do you wanna do some handstands? Um, again. Sorry about my job. Okay, so now that you have done lever hops, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> now that you have done lever hops, we can move on to actual handstands. And if your dog is getting in the way, then maybe you should take them outside 
or, um, or give them a little scratch. Okay, but let's go ahead and finish up with kicking up to a handstand because after that you guys are going to be free to go. Practice handstands safely, of course, uh, as you would like. So you're facing the wall, facing the wall for sure. Don't forget about the, pro the process. Lunge, T, lever hop. Now just try to get one leg to touch the ground and then land back in a lunge. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, see how one leg is down, it's just ready to land. Two more. Just keep those toes apart and point them in the air. Now for this last one, if you want to try to touch your toes together, go ahead and do that. Now bring that one leg down again. Okay, so now you have kicked all the way up to a handstand. And he's so excited. Can you say congratulations? Oh, woo -woo. He says congratulations. Uh, one final uh, demonstration, just so you can kind of see what I expect you to be practicing. Oh, woo -woo. Our handstands up against the wall. Remember to go slow. Count if you 
are eight years old, say one, two, three, four, or you can say one gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics, four. Um, I would love to see if you guys are trying these at home. Take videos, uh, post them to uh, Instagram or Facebook. Our uh, hashtag is DMGC Indie, uh, Dana Manics Gymnastics on Instagram, and I, Coach Morgan, have a coaching page upside down to clown on Instagram where I post lots of fun drills uh, in the gym. So if you're missing the gym and want to see what's going on or what has been going on there, uh, feel free to go check that out. All right, thanks for joining, guys. Go practice safely, slowly with someone watching you, and I can't wait to see your progress. All right, we'll check back in soon. See ya!